is uh, Ms. Vasquez Riez, who's here with her attorney, Mr. Seguenza. Good people, afternoon, Your Honor. And to you, the people are represented by Mr. Benitez. Good afternoon, Your Honor. And good afternoon to you. So this is on for arraignment. Ms. Vasquez Riez is charged with two counts of criminally negligent homicide and E felony and one count of assault in the third degree and a misdemeanor. Mr. Seguenza, does she understand those charges? Yes, she does, Your Honor. And how does she plead? Your Honor, we would wait for the reading after plea of not guilty to all charges. Okay. So no, normally at this point in an arraignment, we might consider bail, but under the new laws of New York State, both of these charges are non-qualifying charges, which mean that bail is not an option in this matter. The goal, of course, of that law is that folks who are charged with crimes and remain innocent according to our law, innocent until proven guilty, do not spend time unnecessarily in jail while the matter is pending. Let me ask if there's any application. Mr. Benitez. Certainly, Your Honor. I do have a request. I would ask the court to direct the defendant to stay within the jurisdiction of the court within Monroe County during the pendency of the case. I do understand that she has relatives that reside in the adjoining states of New York. I think one of them is Pennsylvania, and I believe she also has relatives in Puerto Rico, and I believe that there may be an issue with employment and not being able to live where they were living before when the incident happened. I believe they were living in Brighton, in the town of Brighton at the time. Since then, since the inception of this case or this investigation, we've come to learn that her employment and her boyfriend's employment is in a precarious situation. I don't believe they're currently employed, and they were seeking to move out of the county, and that's per conversations that she had, the defendant had with Investigator Stephen Hunt and other members of the Brighton Police Department. So at that moment, at that time, shortly after this incident, there was, I believe they were considering moving out of the area. So that's the reason for my request. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Seguenza, do you wish to be heard? Your Honor, thank you very much. I did speak to my client, Your Honor. I did share with her that that could potentially be a request made in the order granted by the court. My client, Your Honor, has been entirely cooperative throughout the pendency of this investigation. She did, upon my understanding, reach out to law enforcement, shared with her, shared with them her circumstances, as well as a potential move. She understands that she cannot do so. Your Honor, she does understand that she is under the court's jurisdiction at the moment and will continue to do so. I have shared with her that she cannot leave the county, cannot leave the state, or this court's jurisdiction. She is completely in understanding of those instructions, Your Honor, and she would abide by them. So we have no opposition. Okay. Thank you. Then I will direct Ms. Vasquez-Ruiz that you not leave Monroe County. We will schedule a next date for this matter, and I believe that will complete our proceedings for today. Is there any further application, Mr. Benitez? I believe the defense counsel may have an application. Judge, I would make an application. At this time, I would ask that the matter be transferred for action to the Monroe County Grand Jury. Okay. Mr. Benitez. I don't have any opposition, Your Honor. He's requesting the matter be waived for grand jury action. Okay. Then it will be waived to the grand jury, which then completes this court's jurisdiction, except that the order remains to remain within the county. And that then completes this matter. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you all. Yes. Thank you.